All right, guys, we have some press conference questions today. The first question comes from Gaming Unite and is asking, what position are you floppy in the most? So I'm assuming he's saying like, what position is, or what player has been flopping the most? Or position, I don't even know. Um, no, I don't really have a position that's flopping the most. I do think we could do some use some help at the defensive midfield position. I don't think Papi Gay has been that good. But yeah, I don't think any of posi any position is flopping that bad. Maybe defensive midfield or left back. It's not the worst though. It's not like I need to make signings in that position. But you know, maybe I'll look into signing somebody depending on how the season pans out. My Chipmunks is asking, what are your thoughts on Data Back Five? Have you heard about the news about the European Super League? Also, did you hear that Konami are close to having license for the Super League? Okay, so let me ask you the first question. Did it by five? Right now, I am not actually against it. To be honest, it hasn't been as bad. I think Data Pack Four was really bad, but Data Pack Five, um, I feel like I've been more free. At least when I'm playing as a the computer, they're not parking the bus as much, which is always a positive, and I'm really enjoying that. Um, I'm asked, they're asking me if you've heard the news about the Super League, and I did hear the news about the Super League. In fact, I even made a whole video about it. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, my last previously uploaded video, I talked about the Super League and how it's going to fail. I just have a feeling that it's going to fail. It'll be positive for the per first couple of years, and then it's going to just go downhill after that. I don't think it's going to last long, and to be honest, I don't see the purpose of this besides just the money making. You know what I mean? But I go into depth in the video, so just go check that out. And uh, I never, I didn't even hear about this rumor that Konami is close to having the Super League license. The Super League that hasn't even been full, like it's been confirmed, but like it's not, it hasn't gone through yet. So I don't know where you heard that rumor that Konami has the license for it. But you know, we'll wait and see. And the last question comes from Chigos at eBay is asking, will you be signing a new right back? Also, what position do you play and become a legend? Um, and I'll be signing a new right back? Probably not. I think I'm okay with Neko Williams, and we just got Yugo um, Sugawara. Um, he's been doing okay recently, so, um, yeah. And, uh, also what position do you, will you play and become a legend? Um, I don't know, probably in the wing. I think, I think my, my I think preferably I'll play in the, I'll play in the wing. When it comes to my series, I think I'm played like a, combination of winger slash attacking midfielder um i don't really like playing striker that much but i do like playing on the wing so yeah that's so that's it for the ask carlos questions if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments down below and uh, yeah let's get this episode underway what is up guys Bryza here and welcome to episode 8 of season 3 of the shalka pest 2021 season update master league series if you guys enjoyed this series, please let me know in the comments down below. Drop your Ask Carlos questions if you haven't. And if you're new to the channel, please like this video or and subscribe. It helps grow the channel and it helps YouTube recommend these videos to the past fans all around the world. So today, we're going to have a couple of games. Um, we have Schalke we face against CSK, CSK Moscow in the second leg of the Europa League. Wolfsburg, Mainz, and if depending on how we do in that game, where they have a 2-0 advantage, uh, we'll play this leg, the first leg around the 16, and then Leipzig is the next game we face. So, um, yeah, the only, only five games this episode, it really, I'm really cutting short on time. Last last video, I asked you guys if I should sell uh, Poppy Gay, and uh, to be honest, I had to think over it, and I was like, you know what, I don't need to let, him go, let go of him just yet. I'll still keep the offer for the table, just in case we have somebody better that we could bring in. So he's still gonna be here, but yeah, we're gonna keep him for now. Um, when it comes to free agency, okay, I was looking through free agency and I was like, okay, let's see who's available for us. And he came up, Christian Pavon. Obviously, if you guys know him, he plays for uh, he played for LA Galaxy alone last season, and now he's playing for. He's back at Boca Juniors. And obviously, with Data Pack 5, Data Pack, yeah, Data Pack 5 just being recently released, he is in my Master League now as a free agent. So I could sign him for free if I wanted to. I was looking for a white winger. I signed uh, 
Solomon to be that right left winger, but Matano's been playing that role. And to be honest, I'm not really liking using Solomon in this game. He hasn't lived up to. You know, he's been okay, but like, you know, for the money I spent on him, I expected more. So, that will be on the profits. If we do plan on moving him on, we could sign Pavon as a replacement and move uh, Kwame back into the right-hand side. Matando made, made that position his, to be honest. He's been playing so well recently. So, we'll look into it. We'll definitely look into it. Our next game is against CSK in the Europa League. Let's change this lineup real quick. Alright, so this is how we're going to line up for today. We're going to be playing a, what is it, a 4-3-3. Kyder back to Debo, Kabak, and Williams in the defense. D. Henderson in goal. Crown, Sardar as a midfield pivot with Harrit at the 10. Kwame on the left. Dimata playing on the right. And uh, Drop Pedro up front. Now, we know that Dimata scored in his, with his third touch in the game. His first involvement in the game last game. He scored. He scored against uh, Berminia like three times in the last two games against them. He's been on some sensational goal scoring form, and I just can't drop him. And with Matondo on terrible form, I think he deserves a chance on the right instead of uh, instead of Solomon. So we're gonna play him there. Second leg of the Europa League at home, Voltens Arena. Let's see. And we are at the Voltens Arena, the home stadium for Schalke. Back once again. I haven't played offline in a while, man. I've been playing a lot of my club, and I've also not been playing pass a lot. I've been so busy with school, that's why you haven't seen me be uploading recently. But I'm trying to get into that uploading groove again. Hopefully, uh, you know, Schalke, Schalke's performances make me want to continue playing this game. Like I said before, there's probably only one more season after this one, depending on how we do. If we don't qualify for the Champions League this season, then I'm not doing one more season. I'm just going to move on to my next series. And uh, I'll see how we perform. I'll see how we perform. Schalke against CSK Moscow in the Europa League round of 32. And here comes Kwame. Oh my god, I have to get in the groove of playing online again. Apply, playing offline again. No! Kwame, he sees Raul Pedro on the run. No, Dimata, why did you stop? But he's still running, and it's 1 now! And Dimata scores again! He's combining with Jean Pedro very well, and the Belgian has another one in his name. Where did he come from, man? He's just scoring for fun. What a pass from midfielder Kwame to find Jean Pedro. Found the Mata, put it in the back of the net. 1 0 for Schalke. Oh, well done. Mario Fernandez. Oh my god. Here comes Jean Pedro against Magnussen. Jean Pedro's making the run. He's making the darting run. Jean Pedro. Well, he left to score. Oh, man. What am I trying to do, man? Just make it. Keep it simple. Here's a good ball to find the Mata who's running against David. The Mata's already got one goal today. What a finish. Oh, he buried that. And it's Landry the Mata again. Oh my god, this guy's just phenomenal. And he's on a hat trick here. Oh my god, he's shooting with his left foot again. And he's. Oh, he's, he's just a phenomenal striker. Wow. It's a good football here. Now Kwame and it's 3 0. And Schalke actually ripping CSK Moscow apart here. Wow. This is a phenomenal football we play. And Schalke retained possession here. Draw Pedro loves to get on the score sheet though. I'm sure he does. Oh, and David does well. This David, this guy, this guy we're looking to sign it. Today, the way he's been playing today, thing I'm glad we dodged the bullet. He's been absolutely shambolic today. But when it comes to Schalke, we've been very, very clinical. Three goals in the first half, only one missed shot on targets, and uh, we hope to continue this form in the second half. And Catterback, the left back, making the run on the right hand side, and it's Catterback. Oh man, that shot's too weak. Nicole lets it go out of play.
Di Mata! Oh, what a save! I know he wants his hat trick. Good pass from Huggy to find Tales Manuel four. Oh, what a pass from Hoggy. Yeah, Talis Blanio, I guess another goal with number seven. Four nil. Oh, wonderful football! What a finish! Shut up! Five nil, oh my god. They were just toying, they were just making fun of the SKM Moscow at this point. D. Henderson celebrating in slow motion. Schalke five. CSK Moscow nil. Look at the build up here from Schalke. Lovely football. Talismania finds Hagi. Who played it in draw. Oh, Kohame with the technique to pass it to Di Mata, who finally gets his hat trick. And Schalke. Pass. First touch ball in the air. First time hits with the right foot. Oh my god. This phenomenal football. Schalke 5. CSK Moscow nil. Can they get one back? Nope, they will not. And the game ends 5 0. Oh, Di Mata ran the show today. Jeez, man, even on the right, he's deadly. And uh, we finally got a new person that could score goals for us. And other results Arsenal come back and win. Man, I don't want to. I don't want to play against any of those teams. Pauk won. PSV. They beat Galatasaray. Celtic trash Valencia. I think we're going against Rangers next. Or I don't know if it's randomly drawn. Besiktas goes against Porto. No, Besiktas lost to Porto on aggregate. Leon lost to Real Sociedad. Manchester United trash Fiorentina. Bar Leverkusen beat Trapunzel. Leipzig trash which 9-2. Locomotive beat Monaco. Ajax, they lost to Olympic Marseille. Fenerbahce lost to Feyenoord. Leicester lost to Dan Kiev and Montpellier. Lost to Real Betis. So I don't know if it's randomized. I don't think it is. But if it is... Then that's wild. Our next game in the in the league will be going against Wolfsburg. All right, so by Leverkusen. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to Rangers, Porto, Arsenal, Paul. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's this, this. It's not randomized. Okay. So our next game is against Rangers in the Europa League. Uh, Hagi's former team. I know he loves to play that game, but we have to focus on Wolfsburg right now. Let's change the lineup real quick. Alright, so this is how we're going to play today, a 4-3-3, the same as usual. I think the same lineup as the one that went against CSK in Moscow. But, Papi K comes in to replace Crown the midfield. Everybody else is basically the same. When it comes to Wolfsburg, they're playing the 4-4-2 usual formation. Verkhorst and Max Phillip, always danger players. Everybody here I do recognize, so let's hope and pray that we get a result here. Schalke versus Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg versus Schalke. Well, it's been very good recent weeks for Schalke to absolutely destroy CSK Moscow in the round of 32. The Mata has become a relation to the side, and they've just been a phenomenal form. Can they carry it on? I'm going to have to wait and see. But here comes Neko Williams. He's on the right hand side making a good run. It's a good cross looking for João Pedro, and it falls to Harrit, who takes the shot, and it's a good save. Poppy Gay, what are you doing? Who's just standing there? He does a horrible when it comes to defending, but uh, we retain possession. Here comes Bracal. It's a good pass there from Wolfsburg. They haven't been playing bad. Oh my god! Uh, Verghorst puts it away. The Dutch center forward scores for Wolfsburg, and they have the lead. Oh man, why is it him that's marking him? Nicole Williams marking Verkhorst. Why not Kabak? Where's the Debo? I said, uh, what a ball! Dimata shoots! Oh man! Sorry, up and scored. Oh, I thought he scored that. I'm like, geez, somebody get the ball away from him, I bet. Alright, guys, we haven't been playing too poorly. It's the fortune to be a goal down. Here comes Di Matza. Oh, come on, get her back, whip it in! I crossed that ball like 10 years before. I 
to just first to everything, man. This is crazy. Oh. Catterback has been having a horrible game, man. Not one ball. He's getting past the first man. Yeah, he's not starting the next game, man. He's nuts. Not one ball got past the first man. His crosses were atrocious. John Brooks should win out of the match, man. He completely nullifies our Pedro of the game. And as a result, Bayern drew, man. They drew. We're right there. If he won this game. If we wanted, we would have been right there, tied on points with them. Dang it, man! All right, next game against Mainz. Let's try to turn this form around. The Montan Joao Pedro main team of the month. And scouting results. They brought up Bisuma. Not a bad option, to be honest. 80 overall, 27 years of age. Same overall as the Sardar. Hold on, let's see something. Maybe they'll take one of our other fridge players. <sighs> I know you guys don't have a center forward, so would you take Kuruchu? Let's see. Alright, so this is how we're gonna play. Crowd's back in the side. We severely missed him the last game. Uh, a beast ball and Tadibo started to defense. And then deals back in the side, replacing Catter back. Michael is on the right. Harris at the 10. Talismanio is replacing Kwame. Matondo on the right, and Dimata is going to start up front instead of Jao Pedro. And if, when it comes to Mainz, they're playing a 4-4-2, just like Wolfsburg. Got to watch out for Harry Wilson. Matsunali is always a dangerous player. And whoever they have up front, Kwaisen, Abbas, Mateta, doesn't matter. They're, those guys are always dangerous. Goalkeeper is the weak link, though. Only 71 overall. Let's try to capitalize on that. All right, so get to Mainz. Big game. Let us please... Please kick up in this game, man. Cannot play that how we did this. That first half against Wolfsburg, we didn't even play that bad. It was that second half, which was so poor. I was like, wow, jeez, man. We go through ball to find Mateta. Oh, man. Come on, Mateta. Dimata, Dimata, Dimata. <laughs> Mateta is their center forward. But uh, there's a lot of chances that we had today. We could have won the last game. Would have been right, right tied with them on goal difference. Now we have to wait for them to lose again. And we already played them twice. So. St. Just. John St. Just finds a lot. Uh, oh! The Mata 1 now! And it's phenomenal football here from Schalke. And Landry Dematza scores again. It's good movement here. And Matondo found Sardar, who started off on draw Pedro, who played the pass to find Dematza. Dematza put the pass hand in, and it's 1 0 Schalke. Look at the football we play. It's just too good. It was just too good. Man, crowd was such a big miss in the last game. Like, game was easily getting passed. And, uh,. No, it's not good enough. Oh! I thought I scored that! I thought I thought I scored that. Oh my god. That was a good effort though. Here comes Dimata dropping deep. But yet still be an influence. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to pass him. I wanted to pass to I think that was crowning the left the one in the in the bottom. He retains possession though. Where's Matson though? Oh my god, can you guys score the second? That was my deal. Finds the Mata. What a ball. I was on the attack! Whatever. 1 0. We've been pretty dominant, but you know, it's not like I haven't been getting some efforts. They're finding a lot of space. And uh, you know, Mendio hasn't been doing himself justice. Let's get one more goal. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Harris, you're the, the technique, the you know, creative player. Jean Pedro, come on! 2 0. 
And now we're gonna have to live with fear. We got a goal to comfort ourselves. And the three points should be coming to Gelson Karchin. Come on, look at the football. One, two, turn, three, four, touch, five. What a finish. Here comes Hagi. Golasso! <laughs> three now! <laughs> And an inner post shot, don't usually score those, but Giannis Hagi, he's showing us why he left Rangers to begin with. What a run there from Hagi, took the, took the shots, inner post finish, 3-0. But I think the game should be done here, 3-0, good victory. Dimato, Jao Pedro, and Hagi get the goals, and Schalke get the three points, once again we move. Are the results Bayern win again? <laughs> Man, <laughs> Dortmund lost, Klabach drew, Cologne, they lost to Wolfsburg, Leipzig won, Augsburg won, Stuttgart won, and Hoffenheim drew with Frankfurt. So we're 10 points ahead of Hertha Berlin, so we're kind of losing that gap. Bayern still three points ahead of us. All right, two more games, Rangers, and then another game against Leipzig. Talisman is showing great promise. Wow, Talisman is going through his breakthrough. And Bisuma said yes. That's a good signing here, Bisuma. I think I might move Gayon if I can sign him. All right, Kuduchu has is gonna go to uh to Brighton, and Bisuma will be going to coming to Schalke. What a signing here, Bisuma, and we will sell. Actually, let's see if they can get more for him because he has not been doing that well. Yeah, pay his release fee and he's yours. <sighs> Alright. So our first time in the summer we already made it. Basuma. Next game against the uh, Rangers. We'll change the side real quick. Talisman is on excellent form. Alright, so this is gonna be the lineup for today. A 4-3-3, the same as usual. Because Beast Pool's back in the no Beast Pool's not back in the side. Yeah, he is back in the side. He's starting again. Kabak and partnering him with them this time instead of Todibo. Neko Williams starts on the right back, Mendy on the left, Me Henderson and Gold Kraus third are in the midfield to pivots with Terry to the 10. Talisman is going on his breakthroughs. So we're going to start him over Kwame. Matondo on the right and draw Pedro up front. Rangers, Steven Gerrard playing the same formation. Kind of. 4 3 3. Zungu in the midfield, Ryan Kent, Morello Zores, Pacey players, and Rafael Camacho on the right. It's gonna be a tough match, but you know, it's, 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 it's a match of two legend, former legendary players, um, Roberto Carlos and Steven Gerrard. Okay, so we're going against Rangers. Big, big game. Two sides that uh, have very good ambitions. And uh, we're going to have to find out, see who can win again today. Oh my god, why are you misplacing these passes? Yeah. Oh my god, Camacho's through on goal. Mendio starting over, Catter back, and he's gone eaten alive! Wow! That was a far off. That was not far off. I'm here to do something here. Let me find some meaning here! Come on! And the Moroccan magician Amine Harris taking uh what is he doing? On the dance with the The good dance, Amina Harris. And Schalke. The Schalke players are ecstatic. They might be going through to the quarterfinal of the Europa League. Another goal here thanks to Amine Harris. What a ball! Can he reach that? Oh, McCrory does well. No, what's his name? Not McCrory. His name is uh, yeah, it is McCrory. Are they brothers or something? Well, Rangers haven't challenged our goal yet. I think only that one time. And as I say that, Obispo people just gives the ball away. Like I'm, that's not who I'm passing to, man. Two former Liverpool players and a former Liverpool manager, oh, player himself, Steven Gerrard. Oh, what a ball! And it's 2 now. The back heel from Jean Pedro, the curling effort from Harrods, the Mbappe celebration from the magician, Moroccan magician, and Schalke doubled the advantage. 
We go pass for Mendio. Jean Pedro saw Harry with the run. Took the cut enough for pass McCrory. And he doubles the adventure. He gets his brace here. And Kamar Roof coming on for Ryan Kent. Can he do something? Oh, Talis Manu. Almost makes it three. Talis Manu, oh, what a finish! And it's 3 0. Roberto Carlos is at this game set match. He's celebrating with the uh, Sardar. 7 and 8. And it's 3 0. Rangers are actually going to be getting ripped to stretch here. Schalke have not conceded on this stage yet. Cut, shot, goal. Here comes uh, Amina Harris on a hat trick. See Jean Petro making the run, but he's running on his own. Amina Harris. Oh, dang it. And it's, we get a free kick. Okay. I was not expecting that. I'll take it with Talisman, yo. He's, he got, he's, on, he's on a good form. He's going through his breakthrough. Maybe he might be able to score this. Talisman, yo, makes it four. And another goal here for the Brazilian winger. He has scored once again. 4 0. Just trying to get one more goal, man. Four minutes of added time here for Rangers to get a consolation. Or something that could do something in the second leg. They're at home behind the fans. Make sure to keep a 4 0. We gotta save Henderson. Tip top form. And it's full time. Schalke 4, Rangers 0. We absolutely destroyed them. Other results may not have destroyed by Leverkusen. Leipzig like win. Olympic Marseille win. Arsenal win. Then I'm Kiev win. PSV drew a Celtic. Should we destroy Rangers and dresses that beat Porto? All right, in our last game of the episode against uh, Leipzig. This is a team that's given us tour time recently and Jean Pedro's out. Papi Gay will be leaving the club. We'll be going back to France to play with Bordeaux. They paid his release fee and uh, this is his goodbyes. Dang it, man. Why is he injured? This is so annoying. He's on poor form. To All right. This is uh, who we play. This is gonna, how we're going to fly out. 4-3-3. Ayapu Katerbeck. To Debo Kabak and Williams Ramirez and Crow in the midfield. Hagi at the 10, Talismanio Matano on the wings and Di Mata up front because Jean Pedro's out. He was injured. I think he's going to miss the second game also. So that sucks. But it's good that we have a good backup striker and adequate center back, so backup center forward that could possibly take Jean Pedro's position if you wanted to. They're playing a 66 overall goalkeeper, man. They're drunk. They're drunk, bro. If you don't score, if it's nine past this team, I know it's Leipzig, man. It's, they're always tough. But we have to be wary because, you know, they're a very strong team. And uh, Schalke versus Leipzig. Leipzig versus Schalke. Final game of the episode at Felton's Arena. Schalke know all about Leipzig. They, of course, eliminated us from the Europa League last season. Um, it was a very, very heartbreaking defeat because we were completely outplayed. No job, Pedro. No hair today. Come back with the captain's arm bent. And it's live. No cross. Oh. oh, man. How do you miss time the header? Okay, we can't play like how we play, okay? Because that's no. Oh, nah, there's no way. Because what are you doing to Depot? I'm in front of him. Just get the ball. Let's go, Matando! And he scores. Matando celebrates behind the net. And Schalke get an equalizer. Until John got a new shoot at him, man. He's 62 to roll. Talisman, yo! Let's go! And it's wonderful football here. Schalke get another goal. And Talisman, yo, gets another goal for himself. 2 1. What a comeback. There we go, force it out, there we go, crowd as well, finds Hagi, finds Talisman, finds Di Mata. And kind of back do something here, there's a ball in, and <sighs> it's a corner again. Leipzig all over the place here, Hagi can make it three. 
I wish there was somebody standing there. At halftime, two goals to one. Playing kind of sloppily, but keeper 66 overall is going to take advantage of that. If, if the main keeper was playing, then I would be, be winning. Only had one shot, they scored once. We had three, we scored two. Reservedly have the lead because Leipzig haven't done everything after the first goal. Nobody's closing him down. Talis Manuel. They, they stopped his shot at the end. It was a corner. Dang it. Oh my days. Alright, Kwame coming off for Dimata. Ramirez coming off for Sardar. Oh my, these guys are dead. Paulson. I hate this guy with the burning passion, man. This guy's so overpowered for no reason. He's not even that good in real life. Why? Like, why? Why? Like, why? Like, wh who would I be passing to if I'm not passing to that person? Like, you know what I mean? Come on, switch to Catterback! No minutes of out of time. The game is done. The game is done. Blow the whistle. Let's go. Come on. 2 1. Matondo and Talismanio get the goals after Hong Chan gets the opener. And Leipzig lose once again to Leipzig. We, Leipzig lose once again to Schalke. We move. Other hmm. results, Bayern, Bayern. Oh, can you guys lose? Dang it, man. It's so annoying. Cologne win. Bayern win. Dortmund win. Armenia win. Draw between Bayer Leverkusen and Soffenheim. Draw between Augsburg and Union Berlin. And Stuttgart's Freiburg beats Union Berlin. Frankfurt loses to Hertha Berlin. So, once again, only three points behind. Oh, man, this is so annoying. Schalke. The Shrika wins for Schalke here. Harry is getting called for the Moroccan national team. And the national team calls Scanner is also for Wesley Fofana? Is Wesley? Is it going to be a Premier League raid this summer? How much is it going to cost? 8 million. We're going to take Bruno Fuchs. <laughs> nah, that's nothing. That's nothing. Uh... Maybe boss the one. That's true. Oh, this guy's worth nothing, bro. Uh, who do I offer? I'll try Fuchs. Bruno Fuchs. Another player that we could sign. And I forgot that we had to bid for... For Pavon. Benzema is also a free agent this summer, but I don't need a striker. But he'll be a, he would have been a good player to sign if I didn't have um, Dimata. So we're gonna uh, throw in an offer here for Pavon. A four year deal. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll do one more season after this. So a four year deal for Pavon. See what they say. One more thing before we leave. I want to see who's scoring the goals for us. All right, so Talismanio has eight goals and five assists this season. Kwame, 10 and nine. Jumatondo, six and seven. Herod, six and seven and six. Solomon, three and two. Dimata, nine and five with 11 appearances. Wow. And Tal Rob Pedro, 27 goals and nine assists. I'm really liking how the team is going. Next year, if we make the right signings, then we could be dominant. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to drop your Ask Carlos questions. And also, are you excited to see Bisuma at Schalke next season? Anyways, it's Brazzer, guys. Love you guys. See you in the next episode. Peace.